everyone, Menaf Tech here and welcome to the channel and to another video. So today Apple released iOS 13.4 Public Beta 3 and also iOS 13.4 Developers Beta version 3. This is impressive of Apple because with iOS 13.4 we have been seeing a delay in the release of the Public Beta version. On some days the Public Beta version would be released three days after or even a week after the developer's version and so that's why most of the times I was posting a bit late as I am a public beta tester but I'm happy that Apple has decided to release everything at once today. So for me iOS 13.4 public beta 3 comes in at around 321 MBs as you can see and let's go ahead and look at the specifications that come with uh, this new iOS version. So if we go to settings and then we go to general and then about, already you can see that we have some sort of glitch when you click the about section, there's like a delay, it's not an instant open as you can see. And even when you close the settings app and you do the same thing, settings, general, and then about, you can see that it doesn't open at once. It has this slight delay and that's a bug in itself that comes with iOS 13.4, public beta 3, and also developers version 3. So if we look at the software version, we can see that we now have a D at the end. So what this means is that iOS 13.4 is being improved with each beta version that comes out. Previously, we had a G at the end and now it's a D, which is a step in the positive direction in terms of stability. An interesting point to put across is that Apple also released the following software version alongside iOS 13.4 beta 3. And so what you see on the screen are the other softwares that came out today for beta testers. Now with iOS 13.4 public beta 2, people were actually reporting that when they switch from Wi-Fi to mobile and the other way around, there was a slow connection and sometimes there wouldn't actually be a connection at all. And that has been fixed as iOS 13.4 public beta 3 comes with a modern firmware update. So if you were to switch between Wi-Fi and mobile and other way around, you shouldn't see a delay in connectivity. With the previous beta version of iOS, people were reporting issues with the settings app whereby if you go into settings and then you scroll down like to settings of a specific application like Safari for example, once you do that the settings app would crash and so it seems to be fixed here with iOS 13.4 public beta 3. Another issue that people reported is with regards to the photos application. So synchronization was actually bad and slow. Sometimes it wouldn't even connect with your other Apple devices. And so that has been fixed with iOS 13.4 public beta 3. Now, as far as new features are concerned, one new feature that we know is coming soon is going to be the OS recovery mode over the air. So before, if your iPhone was in recovery mode and you wanted to restore it, you would have to either use Finder on your MacBook or use iTunes on the MacBook. But now with OS recovery mode, you can be able to just connect your iPhone to another iPhone and recover that iPhone or you can also just download like the latest version of iOS from the web and just recover your iPhone just like that. So that is new and it's one of the best and new features that I'm looking forward to testing with iOS 13.4. And also it's about time that Apple realized that not many people carry around laptops and so if your iPhone was to go into recovery mode or if you wanted for some reasons to recover your iPhone, you can be able to do so over the air with OS recovery or by connecting your iPhone to another iPhone. With iOS 13.4 public beta 3, we now have new ratings within the Apple TV app. And it's important to note that these ratings are not everywhere. Currently, so far, I have seen testers in the UK report that they have seen the new ratings. But as for the US and Canada, we have not yet seen these new ratings in the Apple TV app. So this could be something that is in progress and that will fully come out with the next beta version. Now with the previous iOS beta version, one of the issues that I was facing was with regards to the mail app. So before I would get 
more emails here than I actually have in my inbox. And so that issue seems to have been fixed here with iOS 13.4 public beta 3. Usually when I go into my mail app now, the same number of notifications that I see there correspond to the same number of emails that I have in my inbox. Yes, I know it's still a lot of emails, but now the notifications there and the inbox now synchronize and correspond. And that's good to know that Apple has finally fixed this issue. Now with this beta version, when it comes to the battery performance, I actually haven't seen a big change as the previous beta version was good, despite all the bugs that it had. So for me, when it comes to battery performance, I actually don't see much of a change, but it's good to know that some users are actually reporting a slight increase of about 10% in battery performance. Now, when it comes to performance, I personally haven't yet experienced a change either in the positive or in the negative as this version is new and I just downloaded it a few hours ago. But some old iPhone users that use the iPhone 6S all the way to the iPhone 8 are reporting a 25% increase in performance and that's good to know as the frame rate and jitter delay of all the iPhone devices has been improved within application. But as for newer iPhone users, the change in performance isn't that significant. Some are reporting a slight improvement in the benchmark scores of 10 percent i suspect that ios 13.4 will officially be released somewhere in march at the apple event that is coming up and also with the release of the newer devices as for ios 14 we expect it to be shown to the public at least somewhere in june at the wwdc event and for it to officially be released in september as apple usually does if you find different issues with iOS 13.4 public beta 3, feel free to reach out in the comment section and update me and I will reach out to you as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.